Welcome to this Wood Solutions presentation on types and characteristics of wood. Here we are looking at how events in the life of the tree generate characteristics in the wood that we use. Trees are living organisms that grow in response to their genetic characteristics, local environmental conditions and their age. Many events impact the tree as it grows, including fluctuations in the local climate, major windstorms and bushfires. These events and the patterns of the tree's natural growth impact the characteristics of the wood and timber products recovered from it. These impacts include the directional arrangement of the wood cells and the grain of the wood, growth rings, knots and other natural features in the material. The tree arranges the cells in the wood to promote its own growth and health. These cells are naturally arranged to carry the vertical loads of the tree as the trunk grows from a thin to a thick stem. This naturally affects wood properties from one direction to another. When a log is harvested, the various directions of the cells in the log become clear. We can see that the cells are arranged radially across the wood's growth sequence, tangentially that is around the wood's growth sequence and longitudinally that's along the direction of the wood. These different directions in cell arrangement and properties is arguably the largest single consideration that needs to be addressed in timber design and wood production. These influence the wood's strength, its appearance, its shrinkage and many other primary design considerations and production constraints. Growth rings are an obvious characteristic in most species of wood. They are rings of wood of varying density generated in the wood by cycles of growth in the tree during summer and winter or during wet season and dry season. As days become shorter and colder or moisture levels decline, growth in the tree slows. During this slowdown, late wood forms. This is higher density wood with smaller cells. These are the darker bands we see in the wood. As days lengthen and become warmer or moisture becomes available, growth increases and early wood forms. This is lower density wood with often bigger cells. We can chart this varying density and see that the peaks and troughs line up with the growth rings. Knots are another obvious characteristic in most wood. Knots are parts of a branch from a tree which is enclosed within the wood of the stem and is exposed when the wood is cut. Trees that have many branches as they grow produce wood with a lot of knots in the sawn board or in the veneer. The knot's appearance in the wood products depends on the direction of cut through the branch. Various types of insects live in the bark and the stem of the growing tree and these can leave trails in the wood. The appearance of their trails varies with the type of insect, the species of tree and the direction of cut through the wood. Fire, impacts from falling branches and stems and wind damage can wound the stem of the growing tree. The tree responds to these wounds by producing lines of sap or gum in the wood. These produce another obvious characteristic in sawn board, gum pockets or gum veins. These are especially common in eucalypts. In summary, events in the tree's life and the way it grows impacts the characteristic of the timber and the wood products recovered from it. The trees arrange the cells in the wood to promote its own growth and health. This naturally affects wood's properties from one direction to another. The wood's properties vary radially, tangentially and longitudinally. Growth rings are rings of wood of varying density in the wood generated by cycles of growth. Knots are part of a branch enclosed within the wood of the stem and exposed when the wood is cut. Various insects live in the bark and stem and leave trails in the wood. And fire impact and wind damage can wound the stem.